Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. Hi fellow mathematicians, this is Mr. Woods Teaches. And today we're going to cover fractions to decimals and decimals to fractions. Here's some key points. In the decimal system, place values are all powers of 10. And that's what we're talking about here. I have this right here. It's tenths, hundreds, and thousandths. Understanding how to simplify fractions or change the denominator to base 10, it's right here, base 10, is can be useful when converting fractions to decimals and decimals to fractions. To convert fractions to decimals, understanding place value, equivalent fractions, as well as division can be useful. And we're going to cover all of that here in a moment. First, let's look at this. Convert a decimal to a fraction. Think about the final digits place value. And these, so we have this unit here and then over to the right of the decimal point, we have tenths, hundreds, and thousands, and can, can keep on going on to the right to billions and octillions and such like that. But we're going to work with something that's a little bit easier to work with. So starting from the first non-zero digit, the digits of the dec decimal number give you the numerator. And the fraction can be simplified when the numerator and the denominator have a common denominator greater than 1. So if we have over here 0, 3, 5 okay and to convert that I'm I'm looking at this going well, wait a minute I can't that's not part of this here that's oh there's something there and then there's something here so it's gonna be thousands so it's gonna be definitely 1,000 when I'm going from left to right since there are no tenths I don't need to put that there but I can put down the hundreds and the thousands values so three there you go. Now, I can simplify this, but let's take a look at the next problem. Let's convert 0 0.85 to a fraction, and that's 85 hundredths, by the way. So I can just plug in the numbers here. So there's 0, un 1 unit, there's my point, there's that point, 8 tenths, and 5 hundredths. I don't have any thousandths there at all. Now. What I can do is I can write this out. I know that my denominator is going to be 100. So 100 goes here. And 85 at the top. That's my numerator. There we go. Now I know that there's a, a factor here. So a factor of 5 and 85 because any number that ends with a 5 is a factor of 5 and then hundreds I know that there's definitely I can count by 5s to 100 so let's take a look at this so put my bar here so there's how many let's see here there's 5 goes into 8 1 times and then I have 3 5 left and so that's 35 so 7 times 5 is 35 so it's going to be 17 at the top. And then I already know that 2 times 5 is 10. So 20 times 5 is 100. So it's 17 20ths. Notice how I use my mental math. Knowing your multiplication facts is absolutely imperative to be able to quickly calculate and, and do your problems here. So work on it if you haven't already done that. Now I want to convert a fraction to a decimal using equivalent fractions. If you recall in a previous video, I did just that. Well, let's take a look and see what we have here. It says you can easily convert a fraction to a decimal when the denominator is a factor or multiples of a power of 10. Number one, write an equivalent fraction with a denominator that is a power of 10. Well, I can, and then I can use that place value to convert this fraction to a decimal. Well, I know that 2 times 5 is a 10. If I'm looking at my uh, denominator here, so if I'm trying to get it to a 10 there, so let me do that. So 5 times 2 or 2 times 5, and that equals 10. And I have to do the same thing with the numerator. So I have to multiply that also by 2. So 3 times 2 is 6. So I have 6 tenths. I look at here, I do not have any ones units. I have my decimal point, and then how many tenths do I have? I have six tenths. For a while, you may want to just go ahead and, and you know create this 
model that you plug in information into to validate what you're trying to write. Let's practice some more. It says convert a fraction to a decimal using equivalent fractions. Convert 21 over 25 or 21 25ths to a decimal. Well, let's write it out. So 21 25ths. Now if I remember my counting correctly by 25s that there are four quarters in a dollar, right? And each quarter is equal to 25, so I can multiply this, and, and a dollar is 100 cents. So 25 cents times, 100, uh, times 4 equals, I'm going to put my bar here, and that's 100. And whatever I do to the denominator, I must do to the numerator as well. So I have 21 times 4. So 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, so that's going to give me 84 one hundredths. And if you remember, I have my 1 units at decimal, I have my tenths here, and then I have my hundredths. So right here, it's telling me, hey, wait a minute, I have 0 ones here. I have eight tenths and four one hundredths. There we go. See how I did that? I drew out that model here to where I can try to match it and validate. Now, I can use division to convert a fraction to a decimal. Now, this method works for converting any fraction to a decimal. So it doesn't matter if that was 3 divided by 5 or or 111 divided by 27. I'm going to get a decimal. So here it says divide the numerator by the denominator. So here's my numerator right here and I divide it by the denominator. Let's just do that. So I have 4 divided by 9 and I'm looking at this going well, wait a minute I cannot uh, do anything here because I cannot divide 4 by 9, but I can divide 40 by 9 because 4 times 9 is 36. Do that. Uh-oh. Looks like it's going to be a repeating number, so I can have 4, 4, 4, 4, and it's going to keep on going out this way. But I know that that's 0, and I have to put a decimal point here. So I can just, depending on the the precision I want to have, I can write that as 0 0.4, and that's a good approximation of 4 divided by 9 or 4 ninths. Let's apply what we just learned about using division here. Let's convert 7 eighths to a decimal. So I'm going to have my division here. I'm dividing 7 by 8, and I'm looking at this going, wait a minute, I cannot uh, divide 7 by 8. So, there, I have to put a zero, and then I'm going to add a zero here, but 70 I can't. So what's close to 70? That's, well, I know that 10 times 8 is 80, 9 times 8 is 72, so I have to go with 8 times 8, which is 64. I subtract that, and I'm going to get... 6. I have to bring down another 0. So 8 times at 60, uh, 8 is 64. 8 times 7, I'm going to put a 7 up here, is 56. 60 minus 56 is uh, 4. I'm going to add another 0 there and 40. And I know that 8 times 5 is 40. What that does, it makes it so that I know that since I had to add, I couldn't do that and I had to add all this stuff here, add these zeros, I know I have to put a decimal point there. So my answer is 7 eighths is equal to 0 0.875. That's it for today, boys and girls. Remember, to be a math person, all you have to be is a person that does math. Like share and subscribe. 
Have a great day.